Hey guys, just got done, uh, well, halfway through my ride. Um, I'm over here at the University of Texas in Dallas at the, between the bioengineering building and uh, the natural science and research buildings. Um, just taking a quick, quick breather and wanted to talk about one of the subjects. Um, I guess it's very, very personal to me um, because I'm part of that community. Um, but this is for anybody that's new into the um, hobby that doesn't understand um, kind of the mechanics and what to look for when you're entering and trying to make a name for yourself in um, the colonial world. And unfortunately with uh, any hobby, with any group of individuals, you're gonna have clicks. And within those clicks, you're gonna have good people and bad people. And it's gonna be really difficult to determine who the people are that actually want you to succeed and the people that just want to ride on your back. Um, this is stuff that I had to deal with personally. Um, and, you know, it, it's with any hobby, with, I mean, with biking, with, with any um, group of individuals, you're gonna find that, that same thing um, in all of them. But um, just know that like the people that you might idolize now may be also the people that committed, you know, crimes with the animals that we work with, you know, like kind of hypocrites in a way um, where they're saying, oh, don't do this or don't do that, but then they themselves are doing it. Or um, you might think very highly of an individual and then find out crushingly that they are not a supporter of yours. They just say it to say it. Um, and that's what sucks is that like, I'm somebody that um, I'm a people pleaser. So I generally want everybody to like me and I know that that's impossible, not everybody's gonna like you, um, but it's still something that I want. So when you're going and you're meeting people that you think are these like really impressive, incredible people, well, crushingly, some of these people that are, I mean, that you're idolizing are probably people that, you know, may not be like who you think they are. Um, I'm not going to name names. I'm not going to say any of that stuff. Um, I'm just kind of giving you guys an idea of who to watch out for or how to like, you know, how to make a name for yourself while also navigating the social networking aspects because you can be friendly with everybody. Just know that not, not everybody is like on your side, even if they say, oh, I'm totally supportive. Oh, great job. They're liking all your posts. They're saying, well done. it doesn't mean that they, <laughs> that they really mean it. Um, and I know that this is stuff that a lot of you already probably know, but this is for those people that don't really know, that are new, that are young, that, that really want to um, make an impression and make a, a, a like, like their own little legacy in this, this animal world. And this is the right climate to come into it. I and mean, with all these, um, laws coming in trying to take away rights this is this is the time to to step in and and really make a difference um it's it's a wonderful time for any young person to come in and really help because there's so much stuff that the, some of us older people don't um don't have the time or the willpower or the capabilities that some of you younger people do have to make this difference and you can absolutely make a difference it's just be careful who you choose to make your mentors. Uh, a mentor is is vitally important to the progress of like where you want to go in the hobby and um, having that person that's actually going to have your back, that's actually going to um, vouch for you, help you. Um, you know, somebody that's going to help you accomplish what you want to accomplish. You know, they're not going to hold your hand, but they're definitely going to be your cheerleader um, through the whole process, you know, encourage you, give you advice, stuff that they messed up and did and that they don't want you to do. Hey, don't do this because I did this and it, it was, it worked out terribly for me. Um, you know, if you see people doing shady stuff, call them out, even if it's a higher up person. Like, it doesn't matter. Everybody needs to be checked in place. You know, how is this ever going to get better? 
how is this climate ever gonna get better if we all just quiet and like let things just happen? Um, I mean, I, I'm at the point now where, I mean, I always liked, wanted to be likable, so I was always neutral and quiet about my opinions. I had very strong opinions, but I was always very, very quiet about about them. I didn't want to, people to not like me. I wanted to have that networking. Like I wanted to be able to ask anybody of anything and they'll be like, sure, yeah, I'll help you out because I they like me. Um, and that's one way to do it, but at the end of the day, like what, what happened with me, you know, um, you know, when I really needed those people that I thought were my friends to step up and say stuff, um, they didn't. And my ivory tower came crashing down. And the reality of the situation was that, you know, I'm alone in, in the hobby and my, the things, the dreams that I want to do. And I have my select group of friends that really are pushing me, driving me to be better. And that's what you want. You don't want everybody to like you necessarily because you're not going to have the same opinions they do. You're not going to have the same um, ethics and values that they're going to have. Some of these people, you know, are willing to break federal laws just to get a turtle that they think is really, really cool. And the rest of us suffer for it. And that's not cool. Uh, it's very disappointing when, um, when you see stuff like that happening, especially with people that, you know, put themselves out there so visibly for everybody else to use as an example of how, you know, to behave. And, you know, no matter how old you are, you still can have a, um, impact on how other people are acting and behaving in this community. That's why I said, like, if you see something, say something. It's, it's not okay to sit back. It's just, what did they say back in the day? Like, if you see somebody getting attacked and you do nothing, are you not just as much the violator as the person actually violating them? Like, just as big of a bad guy as the person because if you see something happening and you don't do anything about it, doesn't that make you just as bad? You know, you just let somebody um, sink or swim, you know, like, I don't know. Um, I think there's definitely the people that kind of dig themselves into a hole and eventually like those people will develop a reputation. We all develop a re reputation eventually. Like uh, we have been in the turtle world for over 20 years. I mean, I'm pretty well known in the reptile world as well as the turtle world. So um, do you want to be known for being like me? Like I'm probably more known now as like the person that is going to tattle on people and, um, you know, very, very vocal. Like it's better just to, you know, stay away from me if you're going to be doing shady stuff because I'm going to say something about it because it's not cool. I'm not okay with that. Like if it's illegal and it's going to violate, it's going to keep me from keeping my animals because it's just going to push the PETA people and the Humane Society people like into finding other, other reasons for us not to be able to have these animals. You know, don't come crying to me when, you know, now you're breaking the rules has ruined it for the rest of us. It's not fair. Um, it's very, very selfish. And, you know, they're like donating to US ARC and saying that they're part of the solution when they're a huge part of the problem. I don't care, man, like $10 to US ARC, congratulations, you donated $10, but you're still doing illegal stuff. Like posers, man, I, I don't like posers. Just tell me who you are. And that's another thing. When you're navigating clicks, just find people that like, you know, are good people, like that really seem to be on track with what they're trying to accomplish, what they're trying to do. Maybe not ruffling feathers. I know that, that, that kind of X's me out because I, I definitely like to ruffle feathers. Um, I like to stir the pot with uh, issues that I think that are, that are right or wrong. Like I'm very passionate about what I'm doing and what I'm trying to accomplish. So um, I don't know. I guess for you young people, just, um, make smart choices for your future because you know we're in a critical time right now in society where we need you to step up and and make really good positive changes for our future um, it's kind of up to you right now the rest of us I mean 
you know, we can make changes and we can improve situations the best way we can, but at the end of the day, um, you guys are the next, the next level. You're the level up, you know? And what future are we gonna have? Are we gonna have a bright one? Or am I gonna be without turtles in 10 years? Um, I don't know. I, I hope that this helped any of you guys navigate through this turtle world. I mean, for the most part, I think a lot of you guys are probably just gonna have your one or two turtles and be happy and enjoy just having that. But, you know, we're all a community. We're all in this together. Like we all love turtles. So it should come down to protecting our rights and, and coming together as a community and helping each other out and making sure that it's a safe community. Um, I don't want to be a part of any community that I don't feel safe in. Um, in, you know, I have a kid and I may have kids in the future or nieces or nephews or, you know, whatever. I just don't want them to have to go through a community where I have to be scared that they're going to get hurt or in trouble because, you know, I'm rambling. Anyways, I better get back out there before it gets too hot here in Texas. It's been getting up into the mid nineties. Tomorrow's going to be almost a hundred. So, um, I better get back out there before I just completely melt. But yeah, clicks, man. Just be careful. Again, like the, they could be published authors, you know, major figures, you know, people that you think are super, super cool and you want to be friends with. Just keep in mind, a lot of them are not who you think they are. Um, very showy, you know they seem awesome. I know there's one guy, I won't na name his name, but like, he's got, he's a real bad guy. And uh, he's got a very, very impressive collection. But he just came out of nowhere two years ago, hardly knows anything about turtles. And now, you know, everybody's like, who is this guy? Where is he? You know, like, oh my gosh, we found out all this stuff through background, you know, like Google searches on him. And you know, nobody knew, nobody had an idea until like one or two people, I think, looked into it and, and found out that he was uh, a scary person. But he's got a YouTube channel and he's out there doing his thing and that's kind of scary. And it's kind of scary that, you know, pretty, pretty rare and expensive turtles are going to his collection. Um, I don't know. I can't do or say anything more about that, but you know, just be careful. I mean, even I have to be careful because people pop up out of, out of nowhere all the time and all of a sudden have this awesome collection. And then you're like, you, you get that instinct of being like, who are you? Like you kind of want to play that whole like super nice, like, so what's up? Like, how are you? I'm genuinely nice, but, um, you know, you, you get that instinct of like, I just want to, be friends with them to see what they're about to find out what's going on and find out who they are because maybe they can help hook me up or maybe like we'll get in good and like they'll send me a baby down the road and <laughs> don't do that just save your money and buy your animals that you want yourself you know uh, anyways all right well this campus is absolutely beautiful look at this I look super professional, at least. I mean, even these, like, columns. You know, there's, like, little fossils and stuff in them. Look at that. A beautiful campus. Um, I love Dallas. Anyways, alright. I am off to go work out. I'll see you guys later. Love you. Bye.